Hello Floss Tube. Um, my name is Jen and I am back for another update. Romeo just jumped in the window so I got distracted. Um, it's been a little bit since my last update and this is probably going to be the last update for a little while because I have a huge model um, to start and I have to have it done by like the beginning of August. So I have like five weeks and I need to kick this thing out. So Unfortunately, with being a model, I won't be able to share it with you, and I'm going to kind of have to put everything else to the side, um, but that is okay. Um, it is a model that I'm very excited about. Um, I'm going to be stitching a model for Karen at Meridian Designs, and if you're part of uh, her Facebook group, uh, Meridian Designs, um, let me check. I think it's just Meridian Design Stitchers. Yes, Meridian Design Stitchers. She did post a... Nope, not in the Stitchers group, sorry. It's actually on her business page. Meridian, Des Meridian Designs for Cross Stitch. And she posted a preview of the model. So you can, if you want to see like the colors that are in it, some of the floss, the fabric, um, go check out her... Facebook post and I really hope I can get it done so she can release it at Galleria at the end of September so um, that being said I do have some stuff that I can share um, so let me grab those I have this is the piece that I am working on for um, it's a birth piece, but, um, this is for Arlo. She was two years old and passed away. And so I finally have the wreath part done. And today I did chart her information so that I can get that finished up and framed and get that over to, um, her mom or her mom's. Um, so I'm very happy with how this is turning out. I love it on this printed, um, it's a printed DMC Ada. So it's got some, some color, some peach, some yellow. So this is too complete soon. I might work on that in between model stitching a little bit. Um, just if I need a break from the model, I can jump to that. Um, because I really do need to get that finished up. Um, Ricky and her wife um, did find out that they're going to be moving, so I want to make sure that I get that done and, and to them soon. Um, and my next whip is a model that I've been stitching for Carrie, and I love it. It's flamingos! So I have two squares left and a little bit more of the border and then I can take the pictures for Carrie so she can get this pattern posted in her shop and I can get the Biscorno put together. I love it. Love it. I'll have to find some fun pink buttons to put in the center. I'm sure I have some in my collection. Um, my temperature chart or temperature tracker for this year is my next whip and as of this morning I am completely up to date and I have all of the extra background stuff done so all that's left is five more days of June and I'll be done with half of a year and this is the longest running project that I can stick with apparently <laughs> um, so I'm super excited so obviously once June is done, I'll make sure to share without the cue snap on so you can see all six months complete. But I'm loving how this is turning out. Lots of reds and oranges in there for the highs, greens for the lows. And last but not least, I picked up, I pulled this project out to work on um, at my book club meeting a couple weeks ago because I can't sit still. Um, so I took this with me 
just to work on while we were discussing our book and this is a kit from ink circles and it matches there is another pillow that coordinates and I already have that one done um, the other pillow has purple fabric here and pink on the ends so it'll be a nice coordinating set when it's all done and this is how far I got look at the little skunk is so cute so cute so I'm completely done with all of that um, like burgundy color and all of the black and yeah so this has just been a nice little project to work on um, I can throw it in my purse it's it's a small one um, and I actually got this hoop I got a set of these hoops off of um, Timu and they were really inexpensive I still don't know how I feel about it it's been nice for this little one um, because it's smaller than a Q, smaller than a Q snap um, but yeah, I still need to kind of try the other sizes and see see how I feel about them. Um, so that's it for whips and finishes. Well, I had three finishes, but I can't share them because they were models for Witch Elt. So those are getting dropped off um, this afternoon at UPS to go back to Witch Elt. One thing off of my plate. And um, plan-wise, all I've got is that model to focus on and that birth piece and Carrie's model so um, that's my my big focus right now um, haul I have some haul I should have more haul I am not sure where some of my packages are but I've got some haul so first I'm gonna start with well, I got three new needle minders from Gina um, Gina's unique boutique minders so I got, yes, you do need a new needlework project. And then I got attempted murder and don't stress me out. So cute. So I got those. Uh, I picked this up. I think I got it from 123 Stitch. So I ordered some, some um, Rainbow Gallery... Petite Treasure Braid on 123 Stitch, and I got it specifically for a project that called for the DMC, um, the DM, the metallic DMC that really sucked to stitch with. So I ordered some of these. I'm not sure. I ordered three different white because I wasn't sure which one I was going to want to use, and then I'm not sure that that red really matches. So we'll see. I'll compare them to the DMC. And then, just so I wasn't ordering just the Treasure Braid, I did order this Mill Hill. Um, because Ethan loves penguins anyway. So I will... This is from, what, 2018 maybe? Um, so I'll get this stitched up for one of his ornaments. And now I have the hiccups. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> My um, Owl Forest Embroidery order finally came in. Um, I always order the patterns as PDFs because then I can download and print them but I did order some floss packs. It took about six weeks. I really did not think, now mind you, I wasn't, I didn't purchase a kit at all. I only p purchased floss packs. So I know that people have said the new shipping rates are outrageous for kits. Um, I have not checked into that myself yet, but I want to say that for these five floss packs, I paid 24 25 ish dollars for shipping I could be wrong now normally I would not pay that much for shipping for things either but 
the floss that they dye and sell is quite a bit cheaper than getting over dyed floss here anyway. So to me that shipping kind of offsets it and makes it reasonable. Um, I would suggest if you want to purchase from Owl Forest, um, I would say chat with some of your stitching buddies, even if they're not in the same town as you, do an order together so that you can split the shipping cost and it's much more reasonable to ship um, you know, within the states to each other just in a padded envelope. So there's an option for you. Um, that being said, I did purchase the um, DMC threads for the Treasure, I Treasure Island sale that they've started. That's a free sale on their website. So I got the floss pack for that. This is for a free pattern that's available on their website. And this is called The Cats Have Arrived. Um, I'm not sure where I have the pattern printed out, but this is the floss pack for it. Then I got the floss pack for their one of their floral charts, and it's for gladioli, and it's gorgeous. Look at those colors. I'm not sure. So we had kind of overcast weather. I kind of like played with the curtain this a little bit better. Um, but then the sun is starting to come out now, so it's going to play with color and screw it up. But I love this gorgeous colors. Uh, this one, and then these other two are for two of the lace framed bird patterns and I purchased two of those patterns I'd like to stitch them for my grandma one of them was the robins and I do not remember what the other bird was um and it doesn't say on the floss pack but those are the floss packs for that these colors are awesome I, I love this like pink oh it's so pretty look at that so pretty so <clears throat> that was my owl forest order um, here are the rest of the hoops from that pack I was telling you about so the one that I held up with the skunk on it was not the smallest this is actually the smallest and I think this is going to be amazing to have on hand for really small kits um, where the fabric is pre-cut and you can't really put it in a Q-snap and then cut it out after. So I'm really excited about that. But then, like I said, I just have not tried these yet. Not sure how I feel about them. Um, but I'll, I'll see. Uh, I got some trim on sale at Michael's. All of their patriotic was 50% off. So I got this pack for $5, all kinds of different trims. There's some pom-pom, there's some more like lacy, there's like a, oh, just a lot of fun ones in here. This, I really like this one. This blue like scallop. So um, yeah, just ribbon, ribbon and trims. It'll eventually get used, but here's another another scalloped one this is pretty too the navy navy and white so I did pick that up just to have on hand for finishes um, I doubt everything will get used but for five bucks got a lot of options there and then I had a Fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. There's only one here and I get both colors. So where is the other piece of fabric? It's in a project, I'm sure. I'm sure I grabbed it already to kit it up. But this is the Color Club and this was called Fruit Salad. And this is on... 28 count Joblin. Um, the neutral, I think I might have put it with, gosh, I don't know what pattern I put it with. Possibly Lola Crow's uh, Greenhouse of Oddities, maybe? Greenhouse of something? Who knows? Um, <laughs> 
I also purchased two pieces from Volcano Stitching on Facebook. This is a 32 count opal even weave. Very nice. It's a little bit more yellow in person. And then a 16 count um, Ada. I love the modeling in that one. Um, I picked up, oh, the next, this is the Coachman, the next in the Cottage Garden Snowman series. I won't stitch this. I don't know, not my cup of tea. Um, I did also pick up this kit at, I think Michael's, I think I picked it up at Michael's, but just a cute, I mean, it's, it's not a complex kit but it's super cute for Halloween so I picked that up and I'm kind of thinking instead of um, stitching these stars I want to stitch this on a darker fabric maybe a purple or something and then um, buttons or Swarovski I might do I have some Swarovski star crystals that I might use for that and I would not do the lower ones I would just maybe do the upper ones so we'll see Um, let's see, patterns that I purchased and printed <laughs> for, let's see, um, the Fat Quarter Shop mystery sale has started, so this was the first part, and I'm pretty sure they are part through part three now, so I need to print those updates. Hands on Design did... N is for Narwhal. This was only available as a PDF from the site, and it goes with the um, the series that she started at uh, at Nashville. Um, but you can only get the PDF on the site, and this is her Special Olympics fundraiser chart this year. That's why you can only get it on the site, so that they can donate all um, all of the proceeds. Um, I purchased some charts on Etsy as well, and these are small full coverage charts. Like they are 128 by 128. So it's like, you know, I might be able to handle that. Um, they didn't print well on my computer. Like it cuts off some of the pictures. So this is just a rough idea. Um, but some spooky haunted houses. Um, I, I bought three. They were on sale, so I bought three, and we'll see what happens in 148 years. I might get one done. Uh, Shannon Christine, um, part three of the signs of Christmas, farmhouse trees, part one of the Halloween club, which is brew. Uh, the subscriber group, she is releasing these houses, monthly houses. These were previously released in a magazine, um, and she is slowly working on um, pulling some old stuff like this out that, you know, was originally published in magazines and um, using it for the um, subscriber group. And I'm guessing eventually going to put it on her website for sale, maybe, I, I would think. Um, but look at this. I love this. I love the monthly how like March has the little rainbow with the pot of gold, the pumpkins. Oh, I love it. So that's cool. Um, Shannon Christine, this may have been a freebie. Yes, this was a freebie for her subscriber group. She now has a Halloween chart every month as well as a Christmas chart every month. So this was the Halloween one. I believe I just printed the Christmas one yesterday, but I didn't grab it. I also purchased this. This is on her website, USA Mug, from her mug series. And this is a chart that Shannon's dad did, actually, in Hippo for Christmas. 
I just thought that was so cute. And I really like it on the black. Um, and then there was freebies. Um, this was a freebie from... I don't know who this was from. This must have come in an order that I got. This is a, this is lib yeah, this is all the way back from 2006. Liberty U. Complimentary design exclusive for Hoffman Distributing Company. But I don't see who it is by. Um Crescent Colors is the copyright. Uh and then Shannon Christine she had a mom freebie for Mother's Day. I really need to reorganize all of my PDF printouts now because I've just been doing so many. Um, I bought some new binders because my current binders are not going to hold them all. But I need to sit down and like really organize them so that I can easily find stuff. Uh, let's see, I got... The May issue of Cross Stitcher Magazine had a nice little bookmark freebie in there. Um, I did not, I don't remember there being anything phenomenal in this one that I was like, oh, I have to stitch this. This is super cute. Um, and I will, I would love to stitch this. It's a lamp. I wouldn't use it as a lampshade, but it would be fun to stitch. There's the other side of it for a baby's room um, and not finish it as a lampshade. There's a huge King Charles uh, project in there. Um... Then I got my next issue of The World of Cross Stitching. This is the subscription that I have. Ugh. And this was the freebie for the month. How cute is that? Little cross stitching mouse. Um, Matilda, I'm planning on stitching that for Ellery. It's like one of her favorites right now. Um, Brian is actually reading that book to the kids right now. Um, and she has watched both versions of Matilda. The mo there's a the Matilda movie I remember from growing up, but then there's also a Matilda the musical movie, I guess. And she's been watching that. She's watched that multiple times now, too. It must be on Netflix or Disney. I, I'm not sure which. Um, the other chart in here... I really want to stitch if I can find it here it is um, it's called moment of fun isn't that a nice summer chart I love that it's in the shape I like that um, I really like that one and my next issue this is August of just cross stitch and oh the back has the new mill hills advertised and this this pumpkin bouquet this cat bat and this halloween or this tombstone one those are the three mill hills that i model stitched um i did those gosh when did i stitch those I'll have to look back at my pictures, but now that they're released, I can I can admit, admit that I stitched those. <laughs> they were fun. And here is everything that's in this issue. This one, I, I really like that landscape. I'll be stitching this for sure. I really like this. This is the series I've wanted to stitch. And I do like this flag with the hearts. So this was a good issue. And I think that's actually the last 
I think that is the last of the um, seasonal seasonal fairies, I guess. Mother Nature, seasonal Mother Nature chart. So there's the larger picture. And yeah, it's the last one. So the rest of them were released in previous issues. everything guys um so yeah under half an hour um other than that things are going pretty good kids are officially out of school they're excited um today they're at adventure club and they had a field trip this afternoon but it may have been rained out did you hear that rain rain we finally got rain here in michigan i'm so excited so there's actually been some other rain in other parts of michigan but it has kept going like around us in Lansing. So a week or two ago, we had rain predicted for a weekend. We literally saw like a drizzle for three minutes. Yesterday, we had severe thunderstorm warnings um, for most of the afternoon and evening. Um, the last and then the last alert I remember getting to my phone was like severe thunderstorm warning. Um, deadly lightning and and blah 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 and I'm like when is lightning not deadly I'm pretty sure that no matter when you get struck by lightning it's deadly right may have you know maybe just reword those like it doesn't it's it's not deadly just because it's the during a thunderstorm right anyway um so we got all of maybe five minutes of rain. It was really disappointing. We had less than two minutes of a downpour. And then two and a half minutes of a, a decent, you know, drizzle rain. And then it just kind of spit. And it was ridiculous. That was it. So today we have gotten a rain shower that it was actually more substantial it was a steady rain like we need. Um, everything is brown and dead and crispy. <laughs> and uh, so that was good. Um, but it didn't last very long. And now it's been overcast all day, but we're not getting any more rain. So I'm kind of hoping we get another rain. Oh, Roxy, did we wake you up? Roxy dog. Roxy, did we wake you? Sorry. Roxy's definitely getting to be an old girl. She still hasn't even eaten breakfast today. She's been doing this lately where she doesn't eat right away like she used to. So I'm not sure what's going on. She doesn't seem like she's in pain or anything else. So I'm not too worried yet. But who knows? Oh, now she's cleaning her knee. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Other than that. Everything is going well. I hope everybody is enjoying some stitching and has great plans for the summer. Um, we have a very low-key summer planned because we just hemorrhaged money all spring. Um, but we will take the kids and do some kind of like day trip kind of things. And Brian's really good about taking the kids to do things. Yesterday, I woke up with vertigo and had a horrible, horrible start to my day. And really just took it easy all day uh, because I didn't want to set the world spinning again. So he actually took the kids um, to a place to pick your own strawberries. And then I got a phone call and he said, we may have overpicked. And I said, what did you do? And he said, well, I saw the sign that they were two fifty a pound. I was like, uh-huh. And he goes, and then she ran my credit card for $40. And I was like, did you seriously buy 16 pounds of strawberries? Mm hmm And that's just what came home. Because he said after a certain point, when the box got too heavy, he just started eating everything he picked. So we had so many strawberries last night. We took some across the street to the neighbor. We took a couple um couple uh, buckets down to other neighbors down the street, sent some home with his parents, sent some home with my parents, and then 
washed them and cut them right away and threw a, two or three bags full in the freezer for him to use it with smoothies. And then we mashed some of them up and put them in um, protein drink bases that I use for the Ninja Creamy so that they'll have some homemade, you know, some ice protein ice cream with fresh strawberries in it. So they're all taken care of, but holy cow, like I can't imagine if they had stayed longer because they only went for like an hour, less than an hour and had all of that picked. Um... I think that's everything as an update. What you doing in there, Romy? Peekaboo. Boop. I'm getting the stink eye from Romeo. I must have woken him up too. Mer. He thinks for the kissy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a stinker, but he's a good boy. So, well, enjoy your summers, and I will check back with you when I can. Like I said, it's going to be uh, pretty sparse check-ins um, for the next, like, six weeks just because of the model stitching. Um, but I'm super excited to be going back to Galleria with Karen this fall. Um, it's the end of September, and I'll be taking scissor fobs and... I, I'm just really excited. Um, she's got some amazing releases planned for um, Gallery this year. So um, if that's something that you're interested in checking out, that is the show that is open to the public. It is in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and it's not just the shopping. Like, they have multiple rooms open for stitching. So it's, you know, it's a stitch retreat, too. So... Um, you might want to check that out uh, if that's something that's drivable drivable for you. If you want to get in the car with a couple of stitchy friends. Um, I think you can, if you just Google Needlework Galleria 2023, you should be able to find the webpage without a problem. So um, hopefully I will be able to check in with you before that takes place though. So I will see you as soon as I can and I'm Oh, it's raining. It's raining again. I'm just going to go look outside at the rain and enjoy it. Bye.